Approximately five days ago, we learned that Elon Musk's boring company has finished digging the Las Vegas tunnels. In this video, I'm going to tell you about what's next. What happens next after they finish digging? What is the next stage of work? Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. It's good to be here with you. And if you are here for the first time, please take a moment, subscribe to our channel and let's get started. Elon Musk's boring company has completed digging a second tunnel underneath the Las Vegas Convention Center, marking the end of the first phase of the 52.5 million project to build a people mover system to shuttle visitors from one side of the venue to the other. The first of the two tunnels was finished in February. Before I tell you what's next, what is going to happen, what is the next stage of work, I would like to bring your attention two things. First of all, this is a remarkable achievement, indeed, a remarkable achievement. And second, this tunnel, Boring Company, finished four weeks ahead of the schedule. Can you imagine? That's a lot of time. Four weeks ahead of the schedule, and this brings the tunnel on schedule to be for the December open you know, when it's due in December. Now let's talk about what's next. Now, after finishing the uh, underneath tunnels uh, digging, workers will now turn their attention to completing the above ground passenger stations on either end of the tunnels, okay, as well as a third underground station in the middle of the system. The people mover, which is being formally called the convention center loop, is still scheduled to open to the public in January 2021 in time for the next consumer electronic show CES um, when that happens. Uh, but now, as I said, the work Workers will turn their attention to completing the above ground passenger stations. They're going to build two passenger stations on each side, okay, and then they're going to also pay their attention on the, the third underground station in the middle of the system. That's the next stage of what happens after they finish the uh, digging underneath the Las Vegas company by Boring Company. Now, once completed, the people mover will be Boring Company's first commercial transportation project in operation following only a test tunnel next to SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. The loop is supposed to be able to move more than 4,000 people per hour through the tunnels in a variety of Tesla vehicles, taking a cross-campus walk that normally takes at least 15 minutes and turning it into a ride that lasts less than two minutes. The loop will pack those passengers into Model 3s, Model Xs, and a tram built on the Model 3 platform that can fit between 12 and 16 passengers, according to Steve Hill, the CEO and president of the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, who spoke to The Verge last week. His, rec um, his, his organization runs the convention center. <clears throat> Those vehicles that I just mentioned will eventually zip through the tunnels autonomously, but they will uh, start off with uh, special drivers, Hill said. After that, the vehicles will follow conduit and sensors that are being laid in the tunnels, so they'll appear to be autonomous but won't actually be driving themselves. Whenever we get to the point where we know that it's safe to let the vehicles drive themselves, he said, that's when we'll take that step. But there is no a deadline for making that happen. He also said to The Verge that the project has so far not been affected by the uh, virus situation, which is good, but if the 2021 Consumer Electronics Show is cancelled or delayed, Hill said, the LVCVA and the Boring Company will wait until the next available trade show to open the loop up to the public. So that means they want to make a big opening, they want to make a big show uh, with the Boring Company, because this is, like I said, a remarkable achievement, and it's good to see that this Boring Company Tunnel is uh, four weeks ahead of the schedule, as well as it's good to see that uh, the, the virus uh, the situation, this uncertain economic times when a lot of things were shut down, has not affected um, Boring Company's work and they finished the tunnel ahead of time. Uh, 
so um, he also said that there might be a car or two available if necessary to move employees of LVCVA from one end to the campus in the meantime when if the uh, if the if it opens now the loop is not really meant to serve as public transportation why instead he says it's an amenity for convention goers and for prospective customers. It's also going to be offered as a free service, meaning the LVCVA considers the 52.5 million it spent on the project so far, 48.6 million of which has gone to the boring company, a sunk cost, according to Hill. It's there for the benefit of the trade shows. So it'll ramp up capability where they are here, he said. Between those times, it'll ramp way back down to the car or two available if somebody needs one. He said the LVCVA and the boring company will use the time between when the tunnels are completed and when they open to the public to test out the technology. We certainly would not have attendees to the shows be a part of the test process, he said. Ideally, he said, the LVCVA will eventually find a way to use the boring company's technology to help supporters the other transportation options in the city of Las Vegas. Okay? We've got a growing city and growing tourism base, and we need all the options that are reasonably available in order to move people, in order to move citizens, in order to move tourists, in order to move people who visit Las Vegas. So we think all of those different options are important to maintain, he said. And this is just going to be one more really fun one to add to the list. Okay, friends, so as you can see, they finished, the Boring Company finished the, um, the tunnel four weeks ahead of time. This is a remarkable achievement to, uh, to uh, dig a tunnel. But, you know, in, in, the, United, in the European countries or in, in big cities where there is a subway system, it's, it's, it's a normal subway system. But as you can see from the accompanying picture, this looks beautiful or maybe the colors are beautiful. But to move a car with passengers is a novel idea. And um, let's see how things go. Right now, the next step for this uh, uh, work is that workers will start going up and they will um, turn their attention build, uh, to completing the above the ground passenger stations. I don't know how these passenger stations are going to be and I don't know which look they will have but if any one of you are familiar or from Las Vegas area and if you see that um, uh, these above the ground passenger stations are being built and you would like to send us some uh, photos or videos I would greatly appreciate our um, our uh, email is found on the on the uh, about page of our channel um, so you can just contact us uh, well, I really appreciate all of your uh, communications that you have been sending us uh, sending pictures and videos from Austin's possible location of Cybertruck Terra factory as well as from Fremont uh, factory and any tips that you have you would like to send us friends we would greatly appreciate so if you're from Las Vegas area and you see some above the ground stations being already constructed or built construction I would really appreciate you sending us a video from that location um, so we can see how they look and and I will be happy to look at them and report on them because this is an interesting thing I, I think until until the end of the year where it's due the 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 loop is due we will have um, what we have we only have six months left six or seven months left and um, uh, we should see probably these above the ground stations taking some shape. I don't know. Tesla is known to build things very quickly, as you have seen in Giga Shanghai. Like the, I reported this morning, the uh, construction phase is going uh, really, really fast. And as you can see from my previous uh, reporting of Giga Shanghai, they are building the roofs already of phase two, as well as things in Giga Berlin are going faster than in Giga Shanghai, to the surprise of 
of many of us it's things are going faster it's just this few days it's a um, it's it's a holiday weekend because tomorrow uh, in people in Germany and many Christians around the world like me we celebrate the ascension of our Lord it's 40 days after Easter and this is why what I was saying is that Tesla is known to build things very quickly and this is why since the completion of the Las Vegas tunnels is only uh, due in six or seven months we should see this above the ground stations coming to shape this is why i'm asking if you are from the area and uh you see anything please send us some uh, pictures or videos which i greatly would appreciate well friends thank you very much let me know what you think about this if you have seen anything you know write about that in the comment section below and um, the, in the meantime this is armin harian from torquenews.com thank you for being with us please subscribe to our channel ring the notification bell so you receive notifications uh, some people are telling me that they're not receiving all the notifications although they have set the notifications on all if you have if you are one of them please comment below you, are you receiving notifications if you have set the notifications or you're not? That will help me to investigate this. Thank you, friends. Have a wonderful rest of the day, wherever you may be. Take good care of each other, your families, and God bless you. And I'll see you soon in our next report.